Hey class, this is Aubrey here telling you about the Sun Harbor Marina dive. On the dive, I was the lead diver in the water. Cynthia was the topside supervisor. This dive took place on March 15th, 2016 at approximately 2 p.m. The high tide went out at 5 p.m. This dive was to assess the damage to the attenuator wall. On this dive, we took polar coordinates from a specific point called a datum with a non-calibrated tape measure from pole to pole. We also got compass directions. Here you can see a diver taking the coordinates. Right here in the video, you can see that there are old pieces of wood or something, just debris down in the water, and on it, there are many different uh, species of coral and um, barnacles growing on it. So that means that it's been down there for a while, and it could have possibly came from the dock or the attenuator wall. On this piece of the attenuator wall, you can see many different holes allowing water to go through. I can even stick my hand through the wall so you can see that there has been some damage done to it. This is my computer. On this section of the wall, you can see that it's more together and it will hold back um, stronger wave action or and keep boats out. Right here, the wall looks more solid. On the ground right here, you'll see us swimming, and I'm just showing you guys the different types of debris that were found on the bottom. This right here is one of the crab traps. Also, many different pieces of wood were found. This right here is a piece of wood that fell from the attenuator wall at the bottom and it should have been up in place, so there is damage there. A diver swimming by. And as you can see here, class, um, whenever you swim and kick up the bottom, it does get harder to see. So whenever we kick, we might want to practice using frog kicks and different kinds of kicks other than a standard kick that we've been shown. So we might want to practice on that. You can see the bottom of the attenuator wall and how it's kind of falling apart right here at the bottom. I'm not really too sure what this is right here, if something was supposed to be connected to it, so I wanted to put that in the video as well. This is another pylon right here showing more coral growth and barnacle growth. A 
another crab trap. In the video, I'm also looking for two pennies that Mike Zinzer dropped down there, and I was trying to find them. Found a mallet head instead. Another crab trap. And this is a piece of wood. As you guys can see in just a little amount of time, the video seemed pretty clear up to like 10, 15 feet of visibility in the beginning. And now it's about three feet with two or three divers in the water stirring it up. You can definitely tell that the visibility changes. This is the attenuator wall from the bottom. The visibility has gotten substantially worse. Right here we have diver one and diver two, Josh and Caroline. They're taking measurements from the datum to one of the poles. Caroline's waving high and Josh is still riding. We just got a thumbs up from Josh. Right here we can see that the comms may not have been working, so they were using hand signals to express what they needed to say underwater. Josh is telling Caroline to stop, calm down, and write it down. Now he's taking the tape measure to get more numbers. And thank you for watching our video. This is Aubrey and Cynthia. We're out. You're welcome.